Happy Sunday, guys at home. If you're listening, thanks for joining us tonight. I have Enrique Yinny in the house. Enrique, how are you doing, man? Hey, man. How are you? I'm doing great. How about you? Very good. How's the weather down there in Mexico, my friend? It's pretty good. Chill, but it's it's a nice weather right now. I'll take it. Yeah. It's, it was raining my way when I hopped on. And it's really? nasty, so yeah. But it's good to have you today, dude. I know last time we saw you, you were you had just signed with the Defenders, and it was before the whole merger talks have even started. Um, I know you got signed or you got picked in the draft by the DC Defenders uh, back in what what on the fifteenth, and now you're on to your next step in the journey, and we'll talk about that soon. But just want to say thanks for coming on, man, and, and look forward to hearing more. No, man, I really appreciate the invitation. I'm really excited, and whatever you want to know, just we can talk about it. <laughs> Sounds good, brother. Let me ask you this. How have, how have you been since we last talked? I mean, any updates, anything new going your way? Well, it's like a roller coaster. Like, I really, I really, a lot of ups and downs, but it's been great. I mean, it's been a great journey. I'm enjoying and enjoying every single day, every single moment, every single news. And I'm trying to practice every day to to be ready. Because if you are ready, you don't have to get ready. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be like that once training camp starts. Yeah, I knew you were pretty focused when we last spoke as well. And I'm just pulling up one of your recent videos here. Yeah. So when did you take this video here exactly? When? It yeah, was, when? It was like, I think it was about a month, two months ago, I think, something like that. Um, that was, I mean, I'm trying to, I'm trying to try all, all the possible distances that, that I can, I can be kicking so mm -hmm. I can be ready again to compete. How far was that kick there? 67 yards. Nice, nice. Just cleared yeah. it. Eh? So yeah, you, you've I mean, been pretty busy in the gym as well and, and working out? Yes, sir. I mean, that's that's a lot of a lot of uh, influence in the kicking game. You have to be that's strong, true. you have to have a strong leg, um, strong mind, and be focused to to kick and ready. How excited are you for the opportunity coming up, man? I mean, how do you feel? I mean, it's just a blessing. I'm really excited. It's something I've been working for the past four years. Definitely something that I've worked so hard. I'm really excited, really blessed, and happy to be to be living this. I have, like, my wife, my kid, my whole family supporting me. It, it gets even better. Yeah, that was that was going to be one of my questions. Was how does your family feel so far about the opportunity? I mean, they're really excited. My wife has been with me with all the ups and downs since since the CFL year, and then all the COVID stuff. She she knows what I've been through this whole time, but she's been there supporting me all the time, and I'm really grateful grateful with that. I'm really excited, really happy with her. That she she's helping me to give my everything every single day. Understood, understood. That's really cool, man. She's supporting you, and you have a newborn baby as well, correct? Yeah, he's about to be two years old next week. Oh, so he's not newborn. <laughs> he's yeah, a little he's old two, now. He's two years old. Yeah, he's he's getting bigger every single day. <laughs> are they coming up to America with you, or are they staying back in Mexico while you? pursue this well if if i make the team if i make the final roster my plan is to bring them with me because i mean it will be great to have my family there with me like to help be with me supporting me that's the plan but we'll have we'll have we'll waiting just to see what happens we're going step by step um link every single day and see what's what's in the future understood 
What about some of your friends that way, man? I know you played in the LFA and, and you knew other players and such in the area down there. I mean, how did they feel about the opportunity? They're really excited. My team that I play with here LFA, they're all really excited. They they support me. I mean, the owner of the team, he's excited as well. The general manager from that team, he's excited. Every everyone is excited because of this opportunity. Because in the end, it helps a lot too, because we can prove that we have the talent. We have the we we, we can compete. They can look at this level and they can see uh, a lot of good players that could easily compete down there. And I mean, it's just something that's opening to all of us. And I'm trying to trying to give my best so they can they can know and they can feel that it's possible to keep playing and living this dream. Yes, sir. I mean that that's what it's about. And bridging that gap internationally is really cool that that's occurring. I think. Uh, yeah, gives it's the pretty, opportunity. Cool. Yeah, I mean it's yeah. it's something that otherwise you really wouldn't have unless you just I, I don't know. I mean, you could come play maybe for IFL, but that's not ideal for for what you're trying to accomplish, from my opinion. I definitely. I mean, I'm open to every single opportunity. In the end, if it's a good a good spot for me and my family. Definitely, I will. Uh, I, I will. I will consider it. But right now, I believe this this opportunity is the best opportunity that has happened to me, and I'm definitely trying to achieve it, trying to make it come true. That's awesome, dude. I mean, it's it's been a journey for you, no doubt. And guys, if you're just getting familiar with Enrique, I've interviewed him before, and we sat down and we talked, got to know his background, got to know a lot about him. I'll link that in the notes whenever I post everything so you can go back and watch it if you would like. So I don't want to get on all the specifics, Enrique. I know we mean you've had those conversations, but tell me what was the process like? I mean, what can you tell me how it how it went? I mean, what what kind of occurred and when you got that call, how'd you feel? Um, well, I, I have I, I'm really grateful with Mr. Hutchins and Coach Barlow. Um, they definitely have been really good with me. They, they, they've been knowing. They told me what they think about me, what, what they're planning for me. And the, and they, they told me that, um, about the protected players, uh, that kind of like got me in the moment, but definitely I, I was giving my name. So I, uh, after that, I started working even harder and to prove that I can be there. But I always got the support from Mr. Hutchins and Coach Warlow. So uh, they told me that we're going to try to do everything so I can be there with them. And, well, when I was when I was looking at the at the dispersal draft, the super dispersal draft, I just kept watching the, like, all the, all the players going. All the rounds passing by, and I was cleaning my my kids' toys, and then I just received a, a message from from X that someone tagged me, and I was like, "Wait, what's going on?" <laughs> and then I got I got into the app, and I saw my name in the in the picture. And I was like, wow. I mean, I, I couldn't believe it. Like, I, I started crying because it's something that I always work for. My wife started crying. Um, then Trey congratulate me. <laughs> um, he sent me a, a picture of, of my name that the team posted on, on their page. Uh I was so excited. I'm, I'm excited. I still remember that moment, and I get chilled. Like, uh, I can't. I still can't believe it that it's it's all going on right now. But yeah, it was definitely a surprise to be called during the the draft. I thought if if I was going to be in the team, it would be like a as a free agent. But it's pretty cool to be called uh, during a draft. I mean, I don't care if it's the first round. 
the last round, if you're the first pick, last pick, I don't care. The, the only fact that you're being called, I mean, it's it's amazing. Agreed with you 100%. <clears throat> now, coming into this opportunity, you're still going to have to play up, right? I mean, you're going to have to earn that spot on the field regardless of that that uh, the draft or, or whatever you want to call it. Definitely. I mean, I, I knew that since day one that I had to compete. I mean, in the end, if you want to play in the – in this league, you have to compete against the best. And I know what I have to do. I know that I have to compete against two really, 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 really good kickers. I mean, one kicker and one punter. They're really good. I have a lot of respect for them. And I'm really excited like, to meet them, kick a kick with them. Because in the end, it's, it's just sport. But... The fact that I have to compete, I mean, it gets me happy because it gets the best of me. Yeah, I so, know. It, Go ahead. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I'm I mean, er, nothing is given. I have to earn, earn every single day my spot there, and I want to prove what, what I can do and show them that they made the right choice by, by choosing me to be part of training camp and showing them that um, it's going to pay off. <laughs> Understood. Understood. When coming into the camp, are you going to be focused on kicking field goals or kicking off? I mean, what what's kind of your focus here? Do you, you have any idea? Well, what I've seen so far, it's field goals. But, I mean, I want to play. I mean, thank God I've been a uh, – Combo kicker since day one. So you're ready. So if they want me to punt, I can punt. If they want me to do kickoffs, I do kickoffs. If they want me to do field goals, I do field goals. Whatever it takes to stay there. <laughs> whatever it takes to, to earn my spot. You're ready to go. Would, what that means? He's fired up. <laughs> yes, sir. I, mean, I, I wouldn't say to throw footballs because definitely I'm not a QB. But I can do everything <laughs> with my with my legs. Oh, he said the fakes are ready. Just just call him up. He's ready to go. <laughs> yes, sir. We had a couple comments. Rick 8-Bit said, happy early birthday. Is it almost your birthday, Enrique? <laughs> well, my birthday's in July, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's just meaning that um, your, your selection in that draft was part of your oh. birthday present, and it was early. Uh. Well, if it's a good, it's, it was a good present, though. A really good early present to be, to be part of the of the draft. Yeah, <laughs> no doubt. Yeah, <laughs> Jan said, "Hope you make the roster again. He look forward to seeing you kick at Audi Field." And I agree with that a hundred percent. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I mean, like I said, it's a blessing, and I'm trying to. I'm, I'm giving my best to to be part of the team in the end i mean last year they were this close to to win the championship and after all the roster additions that team is stacked with a lot of talent and i mean to be able to play with that team i mean you can only dream about the championship oh yeah i agree with you and that's a, a hot place to play. You're going to feel that energy. And I know we talked about it, you know, how some of those games in Mexico were, uh, you know, how, how wild you said the fans were and engaged. And I think you're going to see a similar kind of situation here at D.C. where they're going to be on top of you. It's going to be loud. They're going to be in it. And, and it's it, it's going to be very, very much what you're used to, in my opinion, from our last conversation, at least. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I I I beat a beer snake. I I can't wait to see it. Like for real. <laughs> I mean, I, I I've seen those videos. I've seen the, the dance. I mean, they're amazing. And it, I would love to see them in real life. Oh, you will soon, my friend. You get that spot rolling hot. You're gonna see them. And I'm telling you, those fans support their team. They're they're one of the hottest in terms of fan support, in my opinion. <clears throat> Things may have changed a little bit in Washington because they've kind, you know, they've done some turnovers there with their NFL team. But I think yeah. 
you got a good team and you got some great coaches and I mean, it's this, it's, they're putting it on your shoulders, dude, to do your thing and show up for Mexico and America too, you know? Yes, sir. There's, there's no other way. DeMarcus, I see your question. I'm gonna, I'll ask him at the end. Okay. So if you guys got questions, I'm, I'm just indicating them and then I'll ask him at the end. We don't have much to cover, so it won't be, but you know, five, 10 minutes. Um, uh, Jan said, if you see lemons, we are throwing them at the opposing team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see that. Is that is this your wife right here? No, it doesn't be sister. Oh, sister, sister, my bad. Sister showing yeah. that love, man. Yeah, she is. Thank you, sis. <laughs> <laughs> And Jan said, did I hear right that he punts and kicks? Yeah, he punts and kicks. He, he can do it all in terms of that. I mean, you tell him, man, What? How, how do you feel about punting and kicking? I mean, when I started playing football, my my coach, my kicking coach, always said that I was a better punter than a field goal kicker. But I always loved the feeling of making points for the team. I also loved the feeling of seeing a good spiral landing on the one yard line or pooch kicking and putting it on the one yard line. So, I mean, I love doing everything. And also when in, when the experience in the EFL, I mean, by doing the three kicks, you get a lot of playing time, a lot of, uh, you get to feel more. And that's what I want, like to be part of the game a lot. Yeah, I mean, special teams wins games, no doubt. And we don't truly know what the rules are going to be of the new league. And we, there's kind of an idea that they're going to be USFL kickoff. So so those special teams are going to be a little more crucial this year, I feel like, personally. Curious to see how the, the field goal, the, how they work that out. But regardless, man, I think you're going to get that action that you're wanting, <laughs> no doubt. Hopefully, man. Like, I'm excited. Like, I don't know if you can tell. I'm really excited. I'm really happy. I'm happy for you as well, man. Seriously. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Let's go back to some questions that I had for you, and then we'll get back to the fan comments. Yeah. So, I mean, really, I just had one more point regarding your 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 draft. I mean, it's – what do you hope to accomplish in D.C., man? What's, what's your goals here? Tell me, I mean, honestly, whether it's personal or professional, what – what do you think? Well, right now, my, my goal to accomplish with the team is make the final run, um, be able to to show what I can do, be able to prove uh, that I got what it takes, that and prove me, prove myself that all these years that I've been working so hard, uh, waking up so early, they're gonna pay off. Because in the end, that's 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 the main goal. Like make the team, uh, show the show the whole staff, players, fans, everyone that that I'm I'm, uh, I'm giving my best. Because in the end, the, the goal is to to win the championship. So my goal will be like make the team, have the best season that I ever had, and win the championship. I would love to win it with a field goal, right? But it, I, I'm just, I'm just like going day by day. But it, yeah, I'll be make the team and and win, and we all. So in terms of you're ready to roll, man. It, you've been ready to go for how long, though? I mean, let's be honest. You've been training for how many months consecutively for this opportunity? Four years. Four years, so we're talking months. That's a lot of months. <laughs> yeah, like I when after after my 2019 season with the CFL, well, you know, all the COVID came, never got never got back to to the CFL, and I've been playing the LFA with the dream of going into the big leagues. Like that that that, that was my dream, going back to the big leagues, and. That, that has been since 2020. So this year will be my fourth year, like finally making it to the training camp that I've all been looking for. 
So training camp kicks up the 24th of February, correct? Yes, sir. Cool, cool. And that's in Arlington? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be in so, Arlington. You pretty excited for that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited to to fly um, and meet the coaches, meet the, the players, meet everyone. Yeah. You, you got a name to make for yourself, my friend, but I think you can do it seriously. Uh, Thanks, Jan had this comment. He said, if he comes on double duty, that increases roster value spot. And I agree with that. So, you know, with that, it, the more skills you have in a league like this or, or, you know, the AFL, IFL type stuff, you're, you're really secure in that position. You're really making yourself a valuable piece. And, and I can see how that could definitely be you, man. Definitely. Hope so. Hope so. I can, I can, I can show them and prove them. <clears throat> Whatever I can do. Yes, sir. Then we had this comment. I don't know. Tell me what that says, please. Uh, that's my mom. It says, son, you're the best. God is with you. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. Yeah. Thanks, mom. We appreciate that. I can't speak Spanish, but just know that I appreciate that as well. Yeah, I appreciate it, mom. Like, yeah, they, they've been supporting me. Yeah, it's the same. So when you live down in, in Mexico, I mean, do you live close to your family, meaning mother as well? Yeah, like my wife, my kid and I, we live like in about 10 minute distance away from uh, my my uh, wife's families and my family. So it's like about 10 minute distance between them. So we see them uh, really every week. That's awesome, man. Hopefully they yeah. can come out to a game for you this year. Yeah, holy. That that will be great. That they, they they're really excited and they they trying to go there. Brahma Bulletin said, Hope you do well, just not against the Brahmas. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it. I mean, hopefully I do well against every single team, but well, yeah, thanks for the support. <laughs> most people are going to be supportive of you man i know once the key season kicks off things are going to change a little bit but right now it, everybody kind of <laughs> loves to see that underdog get that opportunity and especially when they're prepared and ready to go you know it's not like you're given anything you've got to earn it and that's what you're doing definitely i'm, I'm not really excited I've, I've seen a lot of support and i mean in the end it's going to be fun to 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 see them, meet them in the stadium, hearing them. So yeah, in the end, I have to earn my spot, and if and once I earn it, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be really fun. Dude, yeah, we're definitely. If if I'm gonna have to make a DC game at this point, you know. So don't be surprised <laughs> we actually get to meet in person. It'll actually oh, be that awesome. Be amazing. Yes, sir. Agreed. Foosball yeah. fan said, "Kicking into that beer snake." That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I know what he's talking about. Like I said, I've seen a lot of videos, uh, a lot of pictures, articles. So, yeah, I'm excited to see that in real life. Oh, it's a good time. I, I haven't been personally, but I've heard a lot about it. Chris Mason yeah, said, I love this guy. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> you got some supporters, man. No doubt. All right, let's ask DeMarcus' question. DeMarcus says, what is the American football following and culture like in, Me like in Mexico? I hear it's growing. <clears throat> it is growing a lot. I mean, the football, American football has been here for almost more than 100 years, what I've heard. And it's growing. Like, college teams, they have their uh, older fans. It's pretty cool to play there. Um, the stadiums, they're, they're having good stadiums. There's, there's a lot of pretty good stadiums and the professional league, it's going like crazy. Like we have a lot of talent from American coming here to play because in the end, I love that because it increases the, the level and the competition is for example, in our team that I was with last year with the uh, Reyes from Jalisco, we had one player who with the Seattle Seahawks. 
I don't I, I can't remember how many years he played there, but he was with the Seattle Seahawks. So once he got here, I mean you have a lot to learn from him. It's starting from how he prepares every single day to be ready for game day. And that's that's amazing. Um and yeah, it's it's growing a lot. It's it's nice to see uh the league growing so fast and see players having opportunities like in the CFL right now myself having this opportunity in the UFL. So so yeah, it's they, they love football, like they they really like American football. There's a lot of fan base, NFL fan bases here in Mexico, one of the biggest ones in in the world after the state. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of American football culture here in Mexico. Yeah, we talked about it pretty extensively, and I looked it up a lot before we met and after. I've talked with different athletes that have been that way, American athletes at least, and it it's legit. It's just you don't hear much about it, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've read our articles that says that right now, I think it obviously the NFL is the number one league. Then it, there's some articles that says the UFL is the second league, then CFL, and then some article says that the LFA is the fourth best league in the world, and someone says that it's between them and the ex from Japan. But I mean, the fact that you are being in the fourth, fifth place speaks a lot. Just the conversation alone, agreed. Yeah, so it's it's growing, it's growing, and I'm pretty sure that in a few years they're gonna hear a lot about the the Mexican Pro League. I mean, the LF is it the A is it the LFA? Are they? Yeah, they're expanding, right? I mean, I believe I read something about that. There, there's gonna be nine teams this year for the league. Yeah, and they have an American team too, correct? No, they no. they have. I think they're gonna be like fifteen roster spots for Americans. Understood. Yeah, I, I know one of my guests last week. I had him on, and he was still signed with an IFL team. And the following day, he was signed up with the LFA, and he's an American, so he'll be heading that way. Nice. Well, there's actually another player who played against me last year in the LA who signed with the with Arlington Renegades. What's his name? Uh, I think John Manigo. What's his position? Yeah, he's, not, he's wide receiver. Gotcha. Yeah, he he played in the LFA last year as well. He's American and he played last year. And he got the chance as well to be part of the training camps. So it's gonna be nice. We if we both make the team, like see him uh, in the other side of the field now in the UFL. No doubt, that'd be super cool, man. Just representing down there. Yes, sir. So I had a couple more questions roll in. Jan said, what's Yenny's longest punt and kicking field goals? Well, my longest punt was my rookie year in the LFA. Uh, it was 94 yards. Uh, I was in the minus 10 yard line, minus 9, minus 10, because that's all the way back of the end zone, and mm -hmm. the ball was placed on the 5 yard line. So I punted and he went all the way to the 25 yard line from the other side and start bouncing all the way to the one yard line and it just stopped in the one yard line. Nice. So that was pretty cool. And my longest field goal was a 60 yard field goal back in 2020. Uh, yeah, it was the long, it, it's, it's the longest field goal in the history of the LFA. Yeah, I remember that discussion last time. And, uh, yeah, that that's something to be proud of, man. You think anybody will ever beat it? Definitely. I mean, if I'm not there to try to beat my own record, that's <laughs> all, there's a lot of really, really good kickers down there in Mexico. They're ready to go. They're really good of young kickers who are ready to. And I'll be happy someone breaks it because, in the end, records are made for that, to, to break them. So if someone breaks it, I'll I'll be really happy because means that the position is growing down there, 
and hopefully if someone breaks it, I can go back there and break it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, we got comments rolling in. I'm just showing them on screen. Chris had it's a sweet 94 yarder. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty cool to have that record because that's that's a little bit more difficult to break it because you have to have a lot of luck to place on the four five yard line and then just have the ball bouncing so it's pretty cool it's pretty nice because i was all actually my first ever pro game in mexico and as a pro kicker oh enrique is this your dad right here yeah that's my son. That, yeah, that's my dad. Yeah, <laughs> that's not your son. That's your dad. <laughs> yeah, that's my. Yeah, I was reading. Yeah, that's my dad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good man. We gotta have some fun. <laughs> yeah. Enrique, this appreciate you commenting and watching tonight. Thank you. I appreciate it. Like I really appreciate the the invitation of, of me having here. It's always a pleasure, a privilege, to be to be talking with you, and reading all the support. I really appreciate everything. Hey, man, I appreciate you. It, it's it's always a good time, and these conversations like I'm having with you are always nice. It's nice and relaxed. We don't really have a motive of discussion. We're just discussing how you feel and what's took place so far. So the, these are really what I enjoy. It, it's a lot more personal, you know. It's not we're not we're not following the agenda. We're just chatting it up. Yeah, that's the cool stuff. Like right now, I'm reading my 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 brother-in-law's friend as well. Yeah, he's he's like my brother. So yeah, I do I really appreciate all this having all this chat. Um yeah, I really appreciate all the support that I've been having from my wife, Kate, my whole family, and all the people who's following this this uh this this chat. I really appreciate all the support and I'm looking forward to to see you all here. Yes, sir. Let's get I got one more question here. Yeah. And this is from XFL Mike G. And if you're not, if you don't want to answer this, you don't have to. Okay. Said, so did the coaches tell you what kicking rules will be used this season? Not really. I, I haven't. I haven't heard nothing about it. Like, I, I'm just trying to. I, I'm looking at the normal kicking rules, and I'm I'm trying to do the XFL rules from last year and practice every single type of rule that I uh, so I can be ready once training camp starts understood <clears throat> so in terms of next steps we got the schedule coming out tomorrow you ready for that i'm ready for that i think the rest of the fans are ready as well definitely there's something that I, we're all we're always looking for uh i can tell fans are really excited I, i've seen it in every single social media there is that they're waiting, like all the posts from the teams, they're all excited, and yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be nice to see uh, all the all the all the games, dates, everything. It gets like more real. Yep, yep, makes sense. Then that's when I can start planning. I think everybody has been waiting on this. That's what Jan said. About damn time for the schedule. <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth, yeah. man. Definitely. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's going to be nice because I, I guess like all fans, they're just like watching the NFL. But once the NFL is over, you get all the way into the EFL now and have fun. Yep. Yep. Change of pace for sure. I, once that Super Bowl ends, it, I think a lot of people will realize, oh, we still got some football coming up. And quality football because there's a lot of talent, good players. Yep. So it's going to be fun. Like, there's a lot of good competition, good level down there. So this league is going to be really fun this year. But with the merger, we have the best, the best of both leagues. Yeah, we should have some high-flying quality games. I would, If not, we're going to have some trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I bet it's going to be really, really good games. I agree with you on that, man. And, you know, hopefully the rules will release as well. We haven't heard about that. So hopefully that drops tomorrow also. I know that's kind of wishing for too much, but really, really want to see what they've kind of done with the rules. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Like, it's it's exciting. Like, for me, 
because I'm living all this for the first time. It's really exciting. And I mean, every news that comes out, it get like it gets me chills, like more excitement. So yeah, it's gonna be fun to see if there's the rules tomorrow or or just the schedule. But in the end, you're having a good, really good news by having the schedule tomorrow. Yep, agreed, agreed. <clears throat> so I mean, I'm I'm about done. I want to mention one more thing. So when teams start, they're going to be starting with 75 players in training camp. Um, once the season begins, they have to lower that down to 50 players. All right. And then they'll only have 42 active players with the exception of a third quarterback. So I want to mention that to our fans at home. Keep that in mind. I mean, it's it, this is why we're saying quality football is this. This is going to be the best of the best on these rosters. Yeah, definitely. You have to earn your spot. Like I said, you have to earn it every single rep, every single snap, every single kick. You have to earn your spot and prove prove the whole coaching staff that you are the one and that you belong to into the league. Yes, sir. It's it's a it's a work of beauty and art when it's accomplished, no doubt. Definitely. Once once you accomplish that. You, you enjoy it for a few moments and then you start working because in the end you know there's someone there's always gonna be someone to try to, to try to compete with so I, I, that that's what I love about this sport like you always have to be, be giving your best every single day yes sir agreed with that well Enrique that about wraps it up for me i mean i didn't want to keep you on long today you know it's with everything going on it's it, it's good to have this conversation and catch up i'll be watching you dude and if you need anything you reach out man i'm i'm really hoping we can get to to watching you kick these field goals this season and, and do your thing representing america and mexico yeah de thank you so much definitely same here you have a good friend here in mexico hopefully you have a really good friend down there in, in, in the States, and we can meet person soon. Yes, sir. I agree, man. God bless you, Enrique, and uh, best of luck. Do your thing, dude. You got a couple more weeks, and it's time to go. Definitely, man. God bless you as well. Have a have a great great night. Thank you for everything, and let's, let's go get it. Let's go to work. Yes, sir. Thank you, Enrique. Bye-bye. Thank you. All right, we're wrapping that up. Didn't want to keep him on long. Like I said, we've had some pretty significant conversation uh, about six months ago, probably seven months ago. I'll post that link into the notes. So if you guys want to follow that back and, and learn more about Enrique, it's it's pretty in, enlightening and you can really get the idea of kind of what Mexico football is about. I didn't know it was such a significant event until we talked. And then I started looking and then I realized, oh, OK, it's a little more prominent than what I ever thought. But yeah, Enrique, man, best of luck to you. Do your thing. You've got some supporters. You've got some fans. You've got one of the best teams to be a part of. So do your thing, man. I, I look forward to you and your success. I want to say, uh, so Thursday, I'll be back with Shawron Rogers. We're going to do the interview series. Then that following Saturday, I'll have the Canadian football countdown crew on. They're going to join, and then we're just going to have a chat and get to know them better. The interview series is for purposes like that. I just want you guys to understand that, whereas this UFL Insiders is really for UFL-based content only. So we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, the next episode of the UFL Insiders is scheduled for Tuesday, February 13th at 7.30 p.m. Central. That's with Horns Forward Podcast. That should be a great show. Super happy to have them as partners and be on board the team. It, that's a great crew they're coming with a lot of people too so it should be fun you guys check that out i want to note all shows should be at 7 30 central or 8 30 p.m eastern depending on on the guests but usually i'm always very consistent at my times unless the guests request something different so just note that guys keep that up days are going to kind of flip-flop until we get in the rhythm of things and the season kicks off i will announce everything on social so no worries there Appreciate you watching. If you're watching still, thank you so much for supporting. If you're listening, either way, love it, live it, do it. It's the UFL world, guys, and we're just part of it now. 
I appreciate you so much uh, commenting and supporting these athletes and as well as me and, and the team. So thank you. It means a lot. We've made some progress here these past few months and we're going to keep on trucking. Uh, it's, it's, it, it's exhausting, but at the same time, it's very, very nice to know that what we're doing here is accomplished and it's being accomplished correctly. <clears throat> um, if you have a request, you know, want a guest or you just want to chat, feel free to shoot me a message. Uh, if I see it, I promise I'll respond back. But yeah, man, that's it for me, guys. It's been a blessing. I appreciate it as always. Check back Thursday for Chiron. We'll have him on. And then the following Saturday, we'll have the uh, CFC crew on and, and get to know all those guests pretty well. But yeah, see the schedule drops tomorrow. Check socials. I'm sure that's where it's going to drop first. Pay attention, guys. We're going to finally get some real content. If you're not excited now, I don't know when you're going to be. Yeah, it, it's cool. I'm glad. Ready to do this thing. Until next time, it's been real. It's been fun. Thank you, UFL Board, as always. Great partners, as well as UFL. Thank you, UFL, for letting me cover the league. I appreciate it greatly, and I look forward to uh, providing more coverage and getting this thing going for the season. Until next time, guys, that's it for me. Peace out. Go high, a go home, go home, go high, go high, a 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 go home, go high, go